today on Squally Heifer Adventures, we're actually going to rig the boat up to go sailing. Uh, you didn't see it, but uh, the first thing I do is like to get the uh, rudder out of the truck, put it on the boat, and then I set up the uh, auxiliary motor. And uh, what you got me going on through it is uh, setting up the, the fuel, tightening her down, um, getting her... Here's the kill switch, I'm setting it up. Uh, basically just putting the motor together and tightening it down, getting ready to go. So we're gonna speed through this as fast as we can on this portion, it's not too exciting. The next thing that you see me doing is taking off all the straps. Uh, the first strap is holding the boat down to the trailer. Uh, we don't want it flying off on the road, that's for sure. I have uh, two more straps on the uh, mast, uh, one on the uh, stern, one on the bow, and I go ahead and take both of those off and uh, get that uh, squared away. From here you're going to see me enter the boat. I usually have all my ropes. You can see those right there in the cockpit. I uh, pretty much try to throw everything that I need uh, to rig Squally Heifer up in the boat. So I only have to get in her uh, once, maybe twice uh, to do the full rigging. The getting in and out is uh, time consuming if you have to do it a lot. So right now, all my orange paracord is tie-down rope. It's color-coded. So when I'm looking at it, and the first thing I do is when I'm sitting on Squally Heifer, I will see a bunch of orange paracord. That means that is just tie-down rope to keep everything from flying around when I'm trailering. It doesn't do anything else. So I will actually go through all of the different sections and just untie all my orange paracord. Uh, that way I don't have to look at it and say what rope is this or what rope is that. If it's orange, it's just tie down rope for trailering. So at this point, that's all I'm going to do is start taking all of that down. Whoa, squirrel. Saw that bird, got distracted. <laughs> I guess it happens to all of us. Um, anyway, pulling up the centerboard, make sure that it's not sitting down on the trailer and just continuing to remove all the uh, orange trapping. I use a top line to hold that up and then that way I can wrap it around here and that cable don't move and slide back down on itself and then I can just slide it up when I need it so just a simple top line hitch holds that up side getting the pull noodles that's to keep it from uh, hurting the side of the boat there and then 
I do is I do a taut line here and that holds it up in that area. At this point I'm going to uh, remove the uh, mast from the uh, bow support. I've got it up to the uh, bow anchor cleat and I uh, tie it to the bow pulpit on both sides so it is uh, definitely secure it is not moving around uh, on that trailer um, I've got it strapped down uh, on both sides I hit the same time every time because you'll notice on my uh, support I'll have the words top written on the, on the top and bottom written on the bottom so that way I always put it at the exact same spot every time and the lengths of the rope are measured out uh, for both sides, the top and the bottom. And there you go, the mast is now free. Just like right. that, the mast is raised. Uh, very simple mast is uh, up. situation. Now what we have to do is uh, release the boom. The boom stays attached to the mast even for trailering. Uh, you can keep the mainsail on and travel it with the, the mainsail. Uh, by myself, that does get a little heavy to be lifting uh, the boom, the mainsail, and the mast. So I usually just leave the boom on and take the uh, take the mainsail down. It doesn't take much to put the mainsail up. Um, I've got it rigged up so that way uh, there it is. The topping lift just layers down the boom, and we can uh, tie it off, ready to go. So yeah, the topping lift always stays on with it, and that's actually what ties it down. Then we can uh, look for our main sheet, and then we can get it secured. Now, on this one, I put snap shackles on because I want quick connects. So yeah, they had the little uh, screw shackles that took too long, and I don't want to have tools to put my boat together. So snap shackles are the way to go. So there we go. Uh, we can get that main sheet set up in no time flat. Now all we 
you have to do is finish removing the bow pulpit support for the mast and then get our uh, bow line on our painter uh, that we're going to tie up to the truck for our, our launching uh, so that way we can control the boat later and we'll get that down uh, on the cleat Soft shackle for the jib. Extra ropes. We won't need that. Now it's time to put that boom vang on. Look how quickly this thing sets up. Put a snap shackle on the boom and then just go on around, make sure it's straight. Put the snap shackle on the mast and my boom bang is set up. I love it. This is just uh, snap shackles. When it comes time for uh, setting up a trailer sailor, uh, you can't beat them. That's it. That's all it's set up for that one. Now it's time to start putting up some sails. two lugs in case I lose one. Put a uh, 
key shackle here. I didn't like the sharp turn that came factory, and this gives you a nice soft turn. You can also uh, give yourself a little leverage there. Two half inches, and uh, yeah, good right there. first reef point down to the first reef point ah. that rope's too small too short got a different, different rope No problem. That's easily done. We'll just take the old jib halyard that came with the boat. I'll we'll use this one. Again. Do a bowling. Through the reef point, tie it down. And go through that bottom one there. And then we're going to lock her off. Once. Twice. We're going to take our reef lines. We've already got them tied together. direction I'm going.
point and tie it down. It's a temporary. Alright. That's good. Take our storm jib. Our soft shackle. in the noose. It's not going anywhere. Let's get our halyard. shackle we're already tied on to our chip sheets that boy goes right there now we've got to do a separate our port and starboard Soft shackle and rope back in our bag. Camera bag. Now, what I love about my new jib sheets is they're nice and long. And I can reach them everywhere I go. So, I take this jib sheet up. Set up and ready to go. Put 
pull out our cushions. Now we're gonna have some wind flying. I might wear the that one today. So I would say that uh, the total setup time from the time I hit the boat ramp to the time I have a squally heifer in the water would be about 45 minutes. You can tell through my setup, I do not rush through the whole thing. I just go with it one, one bit at a time. And I do want everything to go as fast as possible. I could speed it up by having the mainsail on the boom and carrying that with the compact. It is designed to have the mainsail, the boom, and the mast uh, stay together as one. It's a very nice design, but by myself, that gets to be a little too much uh, to be lifting that mast with the mast, the boom, and the mainsail. Uh, I would rather just lift the mast and the boom by itself, uh, keep it nice and light for me, and then I can just throw the main on. Um, and you notice that I put the main on and I put a reef in it because we were having a blustery day. Yeah, I think the winds are blowing about 17, 20 miles an hour and they were going to be building throughout the day as this front was coming through. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Had a little bit of a gust hit me right there on that one. Uh, yeah, beanie on, vest on. Uh, I'm definitely covered up for this winter sail going. Not that many people were out today, but it was a very, very fun day to be out on the water. Uh, so, for all you guys who like the excitement of the sailing and the heavy winds, yeah, that's what that's what today was about. It was not a relaxing sail. It was get out there and stay on your toes the whole way because that wind was just blowing. But anyway, that's how I set up the boat, and, and now you know why I have pool noodles. Uh, sitting there. It's actually not for uh, the boat or the sailing. It's because I trailer the boat every time and You got to have pool noodles on to protect the gel coat. Uh, that's their own the whole purpose uh, Just to protect the gel coat from the wires So if you have any questions put them in the comments below like subscribe and I'll see you guys uh, next time